Hello everyone. I hope you're sitting comfortably. I'm going to read you a very special story. He has been described as a man of many hats, started off as an actor, progressed to a theatre director, a playwright, a journalist, a voiceover artist and a TV host. His multilingual talent has had him play roles in international films, hosted and moderated government and international forums. That's John C. B. Okumu for you. In 2005, he featured in an international film titled The Constant Gardener. Dr. Joshua Ngaba, Kenya Health Ministry. And in 2007, his multilingual talent was put to test and took part in another international film titled Shake Hands with the Devil. He went on to publish his plays, which have been performed in East and South Africa. I caught up with John Sibio Kumu, and with over 40 years in the theater arts and film fraternity, how has theatre evolved? Having been independent for 50 yeah. years, mm -hmm. we're working towards telling a story which is more homegrown. Mm -hmm. So we were imitating people at that time, and I think the plan now is to mm -hmm. do our own thing mm -hmm. more directly. Now, when you talk of doing our own thing, in the, in the theatres that we have today, most of the plays that, that, that are showcased are usually adapted. What's your thought on that? And do you think that the playwrights are being watered down on that? It's easy mm -hmm. to copy what has been seen to work before, mm -hmm. take a funny play in English and turn it into the Luo Kikuyu. Mm -hmm. It's the easy option. But as the evolution continues, mm -hmm. people are going to ask for more yeah, because they're going course. to be slightly more demanding. Mm -hmm. So in my particular case, mm -hmm. having started as an actor and then gone on to direct plays, I decided very consciously that I wanted to write plays mm. and to write original plays mm. and to write original plays about Kenya and Kenyans. Mm. Not for anybody else, not for the world stage, not to travel to the US mm. for a Kenyan market. Mm. Now you've written nine plays. Yes, indeed. And the ones that really stand out is role play and element which elements has been shown in South, uh, has been played in South Africa. Well, South you're saying Africa. that as an author. Yeah. <laughs> as an author, <laughs> yeah. you see it's like having children and mm -hmm. saying, who's your favorite child? Mm -hmm. um, the correct answer is uh, I love them all in different ways. Mm -hmm. I think um, role play was a big deal mm -hmm. because it was the first play that I wrote. Mm -hmm. And in role play, I had a main character that was as old as, say, uh, President Kibaki. Mm -hmm. In other words, who was old enough to have been around when we became independent and who was still around the way we were in say 2007 mm. and he's looking back on his life mm -hmm. and his life takes in the assassinations of people like Tom Boyer, mm -hmm. Pierre Gamma Pinto, J.M. Kariuki, the mm. whole historical flux mm. but somehow in the setting he also has friends who are Wahindis, Wazungus ah. and the role play mm -hmm. is that everybody is playing against type so that if you're a Mzungu then a black person plays you. Mm. If you're uh, Indian or Pakistani of origin, then uh, somebody Caucasian plays mm. you. So people were seeing the stereotypes. Mm -hmm. So the role play was to do with the change of roles. Mm. Big deal because it was my first play. I've seen politics and history play a very major part in some of the plays, like role uh, they, play they do. and Kagia. Indeed. Yes. I think that uh, a writer can't write about everything. Mm. You can't take on every single mm -hmm. uh, topic under the sun. Mm -hmm. And I said, why don't we do a play for Kenyans, young people like yourself, mm -hmm. that deals with the pre-Mau Mau, post-Mau Mau, post -Mau, Mau mm. another with the decade. So I said, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, to write plays about the Kenyan condition. Now, nine plays down the line. Yes. The tenth one. The tenth one is going to be, it's on the, my typewriter and mm -hmm. uh, on a pad. Do you mind telling us what it yes, is I, all I about? Yes, I can, I, I can. Now, my working title is The House of Mtumwingine. I want to deal with the corruption, because <laughs> corruption and tribalism are for yeah. me big deals. Yes. Because uh, maybe tribalism first, mm -hmm. if ever we're going to become a nation, for me as a sort of mm -hmm. artistic soul, if we don't eliminate this horrible word tribe and ethnicity from mm. our day-to-day -day collaborations, mm -hmm. then for me, Kenya just doesn't exist. As a playwright, what has been the major challenge for you? Mm -hmm. There are two challenges. Mm -hmm. As a writer, because mm -hmm. of this tribal um, sort of sword of Damocles hanging over me, mm -hmm. I find it very difficult to give my characters names. Because if I say Kamau, 
then people mm. will make the assumption that Kamau is doing what he is because he's a Kikuyu. Mm. But I don't want them to say that. I want them to think Kamau is doing what he is because he's a human being. Uh -huh. The hard luck story is yeah. that although we're meant to belong to an oral tradition and we've always been sitting around the Mugumo tree and telling <laughs> folk tales, nobody wants to invest in the theater. Mm. And people who do want to invest in plays that will sell as educational texts. Mm. So with all due respect to my friend and mentor, uh, Francis Mbuga, mm. you know, a hundred years on uh, is betrayal in the city. A hundred, we won't do Muntu because Ooh. it's too political. Yeah. So if you can't get money out of it, uh, then nobody's going to publish. So poets and playwrights are at the very bottom of the creative rung, and I dare say they're not even considered writers. Mm. You're only a writer if you're a novelist. So again, mm. in the evolution, publishing houses will make enough money, hopefully, mm -hmm. to actually set aside a budget for mm -hmm. uh, a small print run, you know, plays done by four people in it, five people yeah. in it, and not 5,000 people are going to read it. Mm -hmm. But it should be a print run of 1,000. Why not? It won't bankrupt yeah, the thing. Bankrupt but they, they make a policy decision mm -hmm. to print plays. Mm -hmm. If they could, it would be nice. And then we all struggle against each other as creatives mm. as to which one is going to be published. All right. Thank you very much, John C.B., for Thank joining you. us. Thank you. Brilliant. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. All right.